Hey, Scott. I'm not sure which one's the craziest one of both. Uh, for the simple fact that the one that was shown in Africa, it was indigenous wildlife, and it's not a buck. I don't have the name of the animal on the tip of my tongue at the moment because of, my mind's not on that subject matter. Uh, but suffice it to say, he was lucky the horns didn't hit him first. Otherwise, being that far out in the race, he may have not made it in alive at the finish line. So I'm happy he didn't end up with serious injuries. As for the second one, my opinion is the second one's the craziest of it. Uh, for one, the wild animal is in its region. And we're kind of trespassing and he's wondering, Oh shit, a human! And... And the story. The animal is still alive, runs away, crazed, pissed off, happy he didn't charge it. Uh, unlike this poor guy in my hometown, well, hometown, close to my hometown in northern New Brunswick, in St. Leonard, uh, you've heard of uh, deer. Well, in, in French, uh, we call it chevreuil. Chevreuil and deer are cerf de Virginie, which I'd have to look up what the English translation is, but it's not reindeer, because deer actually is more reindeer than actual, uh, the proper North American version of it. He was found dead in his deer enclosure, which is basically farming deer. You build an enclosure similar to uh, what you see on, on highways, uh, high enough so that they can jump over the fences and can't escape, and uh, safe enough so that they stay in. And you feed them and you raise them for uh, domesticated <laughs> wild meat, game meat. Um, that way you can sell it legally versus the ones that you hunt, you can't sell it. You can give it away, but you can't sell it. But anyways, coming back to the point in question, the and unfortunately it's kind of a bad pun because they found him dead with multiple piercings through his body. One of the bucks of the herd, actually the buck of the herd, decided to charge him and pierce them in multiple places due to its magnificent wreck. Here's the sad thing. I've never known any wild animals doing that to a human unless provoked or unless something spooked them to actually act that way. But here's the sad part. The uh, natural resources officers in that area had to eliminate the whole herd that he was raising. The whole kit and caboodle, the buck and his does, everything was wiped out. They, they euthanized a whole bunch of them because for some odd reason, apparently they, de they developed a taste for human blood. I'm not kidding. That's what they, the natural resources officers were actually kind of putting up. I, God forbid we give, a chance, we give a squirrel a gun and he shoots us. We have to eliminate the whole friggin' race. Anyway, that's... That for that bit. The second bit, the mo the motorbiker is, uh, or motocross rider is probably the crazier one. Uh, for the simple fact that the two girls were girlfriends that were on the other side of the blind hill should have known better than to be where bikes should have been. Um, and unfortunately, going at the speed that he was to jump, it was impossible for him to avoid it. So if... 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 I hear any flack about the girlfriend saying, how dare you do that to me? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't put myself between a wall and a semi-tractor trailer that's actually coming fast enough to not have enough time to stop me if I know it's coming. And I don't go treading where I don't know where things are coming from. I stand still until I see and hear better as to where it's coming. And trust me, at the very least, at the speed he was coming, the noise his bike motor was making was possibly slightly muffled by the hill, but not enough to point out the fact that something fast was coming their way. So I'm sorry, the, 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 the loser of the actual craziness video is the motocross biker and the two girls. I'm just happy that only one person got injured and not more than that. Anyways, have a nice one.